Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our newest video. Anyway guys, in this video it will be a review, kind of like my thoughts. Um, now this is basically on uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now guys, obviously, uh, this is basically um, the director's cut, not extended, but, uh, but yeah, kind of a director's cut in a way. Now obviously, um, I'm obviously for um, Zack Snyder's Justice League, uh, this is four hours and two minutes I believe um, and obviously um, you know um, there's got another version of Justice League from 2017 now obviously Zack Snyder had to step down because of a family uh, um, tragedy um, so obviously what we got in 2017 was kind of more lighter it was more comedic um, I personally liked the film at the time but now I've watched Zack Snyder's Justice League, the four-hour full version. <coughs> um, I honestly prefer this one more. Now, obviously, I love Zack Snyder's work, you know, like Man of Steel, BVS, the Ultimate Edition, uh, the three-hour version. And obviously, I, you know, I because this version of Zack Snyder's Justice League was supposed to be the version we was supposed to have. In 2017 but because of the family tragedy in his personal life um, he had to step down and then we got a different and uh, not different different but you know some of the scenes and this and there you know was changed around and reshoots but this is what we were supposed to have and I am so glad <clears throat> that <clears throat> sorry that Zack Snyder finally got to finish off his vision of his version that we were supposed to have now, obviously, um, for me, um, I love my dark, gritty, um, you know, Batman films like, you know, like Tim Burton's and Joel Schumacher's films and stuff, you know, that is the world I love myself. I love the Dark Knight trilogy, you know, from Christopher Nolan. And of course, I love Zack Snyder's, um, you know, his take on it as well. So it's called cool Dark, it's gritty, so I love it. Um... So yes, I'm very proud that Zack Snyder finally got to release his version that we were supposed to have had. Um, and, and obviously you've got that extra um, footage that is brand new. Now we've already seen this footage. I think it's the nightmare scene with the Joker, you know, Jared, Le you know, Jared um, Leto's Joker with the long hair. Um, that isn't a spoiler. We've already seen it in the trailer. Um so for me it is really great to um have those extra bits added in which is sweet um now obviously um i love you know i love you know i knew for a fact i was going to love this film like i uh, like love this film because i've always loved original you know um like like films because when someone takes your vision but then they change things around that means it's not technically yours anymore but this is to me the proper real follow-up from BVS from that know this so I'm really glad um, but anyway um, for four hours I enjoyed it for what it was I did enjoy every single second of it I am so glad um, we finally got to see um, you know like the characters um, develop throughout now obviously we've got the Aquaman movie Wonder Woman so that so this isn't a spoiler but obviously many people have said this, that the heart of the film, of this film, Zack Snyder's Justice League, is Cyborg, Victor Stone. Now obviously the other character who follows behind is Barry Allen, The Flash. Now his story is great too. Um, so for me, yes, I loved this film, I loved everything about it, and, and obviously we know Darkseid is in it. And now we know why um, Steppenwolf has a reason for doing what he does in this film. And obviously we know with Darkseid and this and that. Um, one of the things I love most about this film is the black suit Superman. Now I am a fan who was never a big fan of Superman. And obviously um, I've always been fascinated by him being reborn or, or, or whatever. And you know he comes back but this time with a black suit. And and it and it looks really beautiful, the black suit and stuff. So it it looks really great. Um, so yeah, I really do love this film. 
Now, obviously, um, will this film come to Blu-ray? I don't know, because it's on HBO Max, I believe. But if this film ever does come to Blu-ray, I would pick it up immediately. Because I've still got my Justice League there on my shelf. But now I think about it now, um, I'm not really going to go back to it. Because, because the thing is, this version of Zack Snyder's, uh, this is what it was supposed to be. This is what we, you know, we were supposed to have had. And of course, some of the humor is still there, but as for the jokes and stuff from the, you know, from the theatrical cut, it's not there. Thank goodness, because it was too light, and obviously the 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 jokes and everything was to me, I mean, not cheesy, but a bit cringeworthy, because, you know. But yes, in this version of Justice League, um. Obviously, the Flash does do a lot more. I'm not gonna spoil for anybody, but yeah, he does do a bit more um, in this film, and and there's got a bit towards the end, which I'm not gonna reveal because of spoilers. There's got a bit with the Flash when he actually does do some stuff that is very very important to the story, obviously. So yeah, um, yeah. So the Flash and Cyborg in the theatrical version, they are in it a decent amount, but but they're not on screen doing things that much. But in this one, especially Cyborg, their characters are more developed than the theatrical cut. Um, but other than that, guys, um, I really enjoyed this film. I am so glad that Zack Snyder uh, finally got his, vi you know, his vision like out, you know, and he completed his film for what it was supposed to have been. So, yep, yeah, I'm very glad with Zack Snyder. Obviously, this, you know, obviously. Uh, release the Snyder Cut movement and of course I am so excited for Restore the Snyderverse so with any luck us fans if we push hard enough Warner Brothers will actually you know keep the uh, you know keep the Snyderverse with the Justice League 2 and 3 I believe that's a story arc and um, and obviously um, you know with um, Ben Affleck's Batman I think it was um, him and Deathstroke that film for his Batman. Um, and of course we've got The Flash coming with Ezra Miller. So, you know. But anyway guys, um, as I, you know, I mean I didn't reveal any spoilers or anything. But just saying that, yes, this is a great film. As I said, I've been a big fan of Zack Snyder's. And of course, I've wanted to watch a follow-up, like a proper follow-up since BVS. Since the ending of that one. And now it's finally here today on March 18th. So there we are, guys. Check it out. Um, if you are, I mean, if you disliked, or even if you did like, the theatrical cut, this is the real follow-up to BVS. So, guys. Anyway, that is it for my basic review. Uh, my thoughts on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And see you guys in my next video. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.